function when you're actually doing the calculations, you kind of might lose focus in that we build regression equations to predict the future. We don't back test our regression equations onto our own sample. We use the information to help us predict uh, future points. So if somebody comes into uh, a clinic, I can measure their stress levels to help predict how many colds they're going to experience in the year to come based on these data, assuming everything was statistically significant and our assumptions hold. We also use linear regression equations uh, in a useful way. Uh, when an x value comes into our clinic or what have you, uh, that doesn't correspond to what our data have. So we can still use our regression equation to predict how many colds somebody would have if their stress levels were equal to 12. Now nobody in this sample has a stress level of 12, but that doesn't mean we can't use the regression equation to predict what somebody with a 12 level of stress would have in terms of colds. It's totally legitimate and that's why it's powerful to build this regression equation analytically. So we use it to predict uh, cold values or y values that are not associated with x values in the sample. We also do it in the future, hope, hoping that we can infer the results to the broader population. There are assumptions associated with linear regression that I haven't covered. Uh, one of them I'll mention very briefly is that this is only about linear regression, but there is a such thing as nonlinear regression, and there are also assumptions associated with the residuals. But I'm going to build. A, I'm going to develop a, a different presentation to go into more detail about assumptions in regression. The last thing I'm going to mention is that we cannot infer causality from regression, despite the fact that it's a significant increase in sophistication over Pearson correlation. Uh, you still are stuck with the same limitations in terms of inferring causality. You can't. We are only assuming that there might be a causal effect between the amount of stress somebody experiences and the amount of colds they have. In fact, there might be a, uh, an interactive, uh, a reciprocal effect. If, as you catch more colds, you might feel even more stress. Uh, so it can be very complicated. And uh, linear regression analysis can't tease those uh, type of causal effects uh, on its own. Uh, and in fact, it's a very complicated uh, issue to discern whether you can infer causality. But at the very least, I want to mention that we can infer causality from linear regression, despite the fact that it's tremendously useful uh, in terms of building the regression equation and helping us predict y values. I hope you found this uh, video useful, and thanks for watching.